Hey guys, it's Varel Wyatt with the Acker Running Project. I uh, just wanna go over a couple stretches and even some spe uh, specific stability exercises that you can incorporate over the next couple weeks uh, to your running. So what I'm gonna go through today is some deep stretches that can help with the low back, uh, the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, down into the uh, calf muscles and even into the feet muscles as well, or your foot muscles. So these, the series that we're gonna go through, you're gonna hold each pose for about three to five seconds, and you can repeat it from one to three times. Uh, don't push the stretch where it feels like it's painful. You want it to feel like it's a deep tension stretch. So you can do this on a yoga mat. Uh, you can do this on the, you'll have, probably have your running shoes on. I prefer barefoot if you can, so you can get more communication uh, from the feet all the way up. So we'll come down and we'll start here. So our right side is what we're gonna focus on first and you make sure you do it on both sides. So both of our hands will come on an instep, meaning we're inside our, uh, our right leg. I don't want your leg out. You wanna to try to keep your feet nice and even and you're going to lift the back leg up into a low lunge. So from this position, you're gonna hold this for about five seconds, three to five seconds, and then you're going to lift this guy up. You're gonna hold this for about five seconds, making sure the spine is staying long. From here, your right arm will come back down. You'll load it and then you're gonna open and twist. Left arm will come up. Don't feel like you need to twist all the way open. Only go to where you feel some tension in the stretch, not through pain. The left hand will come back down. You'll plant through this uh, left side. The right arm will come up for this twist. And once again, holding it for three to five seconds, the back leg is staying nice and straight. And you're coming back down here. From this position, your leg, your left knee will come back down to the mat. The toes will uncurl, and then you'll come up in this position. So you'll find your support the knee is right over that second and third toe. It's not out, it's not in. So from this position, we're going to stay, uh, your spine is nice and tall, and you're just gonna lean forward just a little bit. You'll feel the stretch in the front of your left quad and into your thighs, so your deep hip flexors, they're getting a nice little pull. You can add a little, a little squeeze to the left uh, bottom muscle that'll help get a better uh, stretch and you can also add the arms rising up, but I don't want you to arch through the back. The spine will stay long, and you can just lean forward just a little bit more to fill a pool in here. Some will add a twist, or I'm sorry, just more of a side bend. You can be various with this, but here for about three to five seconds. From this position, you'll come back up, even yourself out, the right leg will kind of scoot up just a little bit, keep the bend, and we're gonna bring our hands down, and toes will come up, and you can either pull, or you can just feel the back side, so your hamstrings down into your calves, and you're holding this for about three to five seconds. Nice and tall spine, we're not rounded, we're staying nice and tall, and we're just hinging from our hips, and we're coming down. And then we'll come back up. Now repeat that on the other side. Left leg, find a good position. Knee over the second and third toe. Hands will come in the instep. Right knee will lift off. We hold here, three to five seconds. This pose, three to five seconds. Hand back down, open up, three to five seconds. Hand back down, opposite. Three to five seconds. Here, right knee will drop back down. We'll come back up, get in alignment. Lean forward, feel the stretch now on the right side, front of your right thigh. Arms up for any type of variation. Arms will come back down. Soft bend in the knees. 
to help get that deep hamstring stretch. Our shoulders are nice and relaxed. Once again, our spine is staying neutral. It's not rounding, it's not arching. You're just leaning and hinging at the hips. Once again, you can try this one to three sets, holding it for three to five seconds. If that's your first time going through a sequence like that, start off with one set. You can try it before, you can try it after your runs. Uh, and good luck. Uh, hope training is going well for you guys. And we can't wait to see you guys on the blue line.